Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Niall Lynn. That's my little clicker from Socializing. I'll link it below. This is my little morning routine. Under five minutes, if you're not explaining it on camera. I have no makeup on and I'm wearing my pajamas because it's the morning. So um, I already brushed my teeth, had coffee and brushed my teeth. So that's already done. And now I'm drinking water and I'm gonna get my face ready. Niall, what is this thing you're wearing on your head? Well, this is my slap cap beanie because if you're an actor and you have to be on camera throughout the week, you need to preserve your hair style from Monday or Sunday night or whenever you do it at the beginning of the week as long as you can because at any moment I could get a little text or uh, an email saying, most likely an email first, saying you have an audition and so then I have to be camera ready. So I can't wait until that audition invite to do my hair because then that's a whole other thing. So I do my hair, I wash my hair on Sunday nights, and then Monday morning I curl it and get ready Monday as if I have an audition that day. Not like full on, but like do my hair so that it's camera ready, and then I try to make it last throughout the week. So this is Thursday morning, and I have, Monday I did my hair, Tuesday I didn't do anything to it, um, Wednesday I did add an extra curl, Sunday night I had done a mask, so just so that you know, when I take my hair off, this isn't, isn't like um, sweaty gym hair under this cap. This is styled, conditioned, well-treated, trimmed hair that I've highlighted myself. So I take off this cap, and then this is my morning hair. And yeah, it's a little, a little frizzy and needs a brush through, but it's not, I mean, if I don't wear this thing, it looks like I stuck my finger in a socket. Like I just look crazy. So definitely recommend some sort of bonnet or beanie to sleep in or silk scarf. So then I brush out my hair with a detangling brush because a lot of times there are tangles in the back. Seems to be doing pretty good today. Yeah, there's a lot of times right at the nape of my neck, really bad tangles, but it seems to be okay. So then I just brush it out. And it's probably look it's probably doing good because I did I did style it last night for a Zoom, and um, then I brushed it out before I went to sleep before I put it in the cap. So this is a detangling brush. I'll find something similar. I got it from my beauty supply. I believe it's from a a line called Diane. So I just brush out my hair. That's it. And then I put a little conditioner type of spray. This is Dream Coat from Color Wow, um, Supernatural spray. It's hard to see because it's so blingy. Um, so then I, I spray that where the frizz was and I scrunch. Like that. And then I might check like, do I have roots coming in? Cause I, I do, I have colored my hair as you can tell. I put a little highlights in it. So I might check if my roots are coming in and um, put a little bit of this right up here. And this is also a dry shampoo. So I might just go you know, and I could put some of that to lift it, just freshen up the hair. And um, there's other kinds of this, there's this, which I like, which is another dry shampoo. It just smells good, it gets the oils out, you know. And then I scrunch. And it's not perfect, but um, it's presentable for running out the door. You know, it, I'm not doing a glam thing here. This is how do I get out of the house? Um, so sometimes before or sometimes after, then I clean my face and I use wipes because I showered last night with my hair in a shower cap, right? So my, my face is clean. I showered last night. I put a whole bunch of stuff on my face as far as skincare and all that is concerned. So a lot of times I'll just grab one of these wipes and just make sure my face is clean before I put anything else on it. And it's usually pretty clean because, you know, 
and I put a lot of times I put micellar cleansing water on this or I use this with cotton balls um, so sometimes I just go like this and so I don't always use this but um, I do like it it's not like these these don't need that it's just like a little extra refreshing so I just clean off my face to make sure you know it's like cleaning and toning because I'm gonna put a little bit of product on and a lot of times I will do um, like I'll do the back of my neck because it makes me feel awake and my ears and my decolletage, as they say, as they say. Okay, so I just get myself cleaned up and there's not really, you know, there's no dirt on here, really. It's just, it's a little bit, a little, a little schmutz, you know? I live in New York City. There's always a little schmutz on your face. Okay, so then it's cleaned off. And a lot of times I will fan it. I have this piece of cardboard here. You can use a fan. Um, my fan's in the other room just to dry it. Because, you know, I'm not always doing this on camera. And so sometimes I'm doing that, then sipping my coffee, then checking an email, multitasking while this all happens. It's not something I do, you know, on camera with a ring light, obviously. Um, I'm just doing it that way for you guys. So then I'll pick like a skincare product. Um, I, I have, where's my vitamin C? So I do have vitamin C here, this. And I'll put that on. Just a little bit. My mirror is right here, so that's why I'm looking over here. And I really put this all over. So I think that's that's like three dots of vitamin C on my face. And then, you know, and it's just, I'm just doing like this. And then one down here. And then put that back over there where all my products are and then I go back to you know and in the morning I don't do this fanning as I said because I'll put it on and be multitasking I'm just doing this to speed it up for you guys for the camera so then I pick a sunblock this I put on a lot in the morning this I put on a lot in the morning I'm gonna try to make it go all the way up here so this is SPF 30 you could get higher than that I don't burn in the Sun really um, I have olive skin that is very fair because I wear sunblock but not because that's my um, like I don't have skin that burns I don't know what you call that so this is the oil of I'm actually gonna do the other one today I do the oil of a lot. I know I'm going on a long walk today in Central Park, so, um, cause I gotta get my steps in and I have errands to run. I, I do it like this. It's probably not the right way. You're probably just supposed to put it all up. I like, to, I like to do it like that. And I actually start with this from down here and up. And sometimes I put just a little bit more. Not a lot. And I put the leftover on the back of my hands. Of course, I've already washed my hands this morning in the sink and, you know. And so I know I will 
I will wash them a million more times, but hopefully some of this will stay on the back of my hands. And the reason why I do that is because I didn't used to do that. And um, I can see that my hands have aged more than my face. <laughs> so sunblock for me is, is a key to my beauty routine. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so sometimes you guys, that's it. I run out the door. Sometimes I don't even brush out the hair. Um, it's sometimes I put a scrunchie in and run out the door and I don't do the whole thing and I throw on I throw on this and I you know go get a nice coffee and run errands with a top knot in looking like a maniac because like who really cares right all of this is just optional none of this is a requirement for life you're you're enough without makeup so as much as I love it then I look at my little drawer. Look, I have this little thing that goes under my monitor. I love this. I probably got it at HomeGoods or TJ Maxx or um, Marshalls. So I'll try to find one link below. It's a three compartment clear container and it goes under my computer monitor that's on my desk, which is so handy because um, it's all right there if I have a Zoom meeting and I need to throw a face on, right? I have other containers of makeup and other options here. Like this is my little this goes with me in my my bag um and i have all kinds of you know little goodies and things but it's nice to have this so if i'm just running out the door i don't do a primer and all that stuff i just put some stuff on my face and go you know um so today i'm just gonna use the elf bb cream since it's a walk in the park and um a lot of times i just go like this and put a dot here and a dot here and a dot here and a dot here and that's it do that and then I use a beauty blender or my fingers or anything and I just blend it in And I have my little, you know, wipe that I clean my face off that I can take the makeup off my hands. So I haven't thrown that away yet. I use it for sort of like the whole, the whole thing. I'm putting another dot. Now this BB cream from e.l.f. also has, I believe, SPF 20. So, you know, you could just throw this on, but I, I sort of need a little bit of moisture. And sometimes I do actually put a little bit here too, just because I do get, I do get, um, color here. And I noticed that this, um, it's very easy to get sun damage on your degolletage because we forget about it sometimes. So sometimes I do put a little bit there, you know, and I'll even put like a little here just to have everything be cohesive. Um, you know, cause I might wear a top that shows that part of me. Um, these are my pajamas and my robe. All right, so I've got a little bit of that on my face. Then um, I take some Laura Mercier powder. So what I usually do is I go like this and then I go like that. And whatever's in the cap, that's what I'm gonna use on my face. And I have this swirly brush that was from Cosmo, the magazine. And I go like this, and then I tap it like this so that the product goes in the brush as opposed to all over the place or blowing it off because we don't want germs on the brush. And then I just blend that in. and go over everything that I put on there. It's really simple. I'm not gonna put 10 pounds of anything on my face. 
Um, I do have, I do curl my eyelashes. So I do go like this and curl my eyelashes. And I just use this um, for day to day. I do have this for special superhero, just in case you didn't see that. But this is my daily. And you guys can see where if I wasn't explaining it, this would take a very short period of time. Uh, I do have a pimple here, but I actually might not cover it. I don't know. The thing is, is I, I sort of want it to go away, so I want to breathe, so I don't want to put too much makeup on it. It's such a funny place to have a pimple. So there, I put a little mascara on. And then I've been loving this lately, and I could have put this on before putting the powder on, but I don't know what lipstick I'm picking. Um, and like this isn't, it's never a plan. There's never a plan. I just, you know, everything's improvised in my life. I just fly by the seat of my pants. So I could pick like a bunch of different things, you know. I have been using this a lot from Flower Beauty. Um, it's the one product from them that I kind of like. So this is the, the crushed gel flower lip and cheek. So I could go like this and then put on my cheeks and go. That's why I like it. Um, today I might use this. This is a kissable lip. So what else do I have in here that I can show you that might interest you as far as lips? MAC, a gloss, another gloss. So I just pick a lip. Um, I'm going to keep it simple for you guys because this is very easy to do. It sweep the lips. And then you can put it on your cheeks with your fingers or you can put it right on your cheeks. And I do love one product that does two things. And then you can rub this in with your fingers or you can use a brush. I realize I got more on this side than that side, so I'm just blotting my lips a little bit. And then I'll go back to this because it still has some product on it. And you guys, that's it. I'm out the door. Like, I know that you might think because like I'm all about glammy glam glam a lot of the times that I don't run around with no makeup on. First of all, I run around with absolutely no makeup on a lot of times in sweats that, you know, look frumpy with my hair in a top knot and my glasses on looking like, uh, you know, my fun self, looking like my fun self because it's not my hair and makeup that makes me who I am. It's just something I really enjoy because I'm super girly and it's, this is fun for me. But on a day where I'm not gonna do the top knot and, and uh, you know, run around and I wanna look kinda cute but don't really have a lot of time and have a lot of stuff to do, I just do this. Now, if I wasn't explaining this to you, would this even take me five minutes? I doubt it. It's, you know, Drink your coffee. Yeah, it would take me 15 minutes for the whole thing. Wake up, drink the coffee, brush the teeth, drink the water, clean the face, brush the hair, 
put a little um, moisturizer and BB cream on a lash a lipstick I mean like if I want to go crazy I'll do the brow right where's the brow stuff I'll do the brow for you guys because I do think a brow can make a face right so I get like a a brow mascara and go like this and I need to tweeze my brows I do you need to be done none of this is gonna be perfect So I do have tweezers right here so that I can, you know, touch up and pull some out. And yeah, there's a pimple there. See, imperfect skin. And that's it, you guys. I might put a little extra gloss on. But that would be if I, um, you know, was taking a selfie or something because I'm gonna be wearing a mask, which is one of the reasons why I think I'm liking this because it's not glossy. Um, and it's the Gel Crush Lip and Cheek from Flower Beauty. I drew Barry more. So that's it, you guys. Nice and simple. Um, and again, this video is long because I'm chatting with you guys and talking and explaining things. But throwing the stuff on your face in the morning, you know, I'm I'm not trying to do a photo shoot. I'm trying to look like I uh, am. Uh, aware of personal hygiene <laughs> that's it so uh thanks for tuning in this is Naya Lynn you have a beautiful day and just know that you're gorgeous with or without makeup but I really appreciate you tuning in for makeup and beauty tips here on my YouTube channel and everything else that I post it it you know it's, it's fun to share these things so feel free to comment below um you know if you have a tip for your morning routine that makes you feel ready for the day and um you know share because that's what this platform is about it's about sharing um knowledge and experience and joy and um truth and depth with each other so thanks for tuning in this is Niall Lynn have a beautiful day